Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another tutorial. This is the long awaited, much requested part two of the How to Podcast with GarageBand. I got no excuse. Lazy, not feeling it. Without any further ado, let's get into this thing. So on my desktop here, I have a WAV file. And it doesn't really matter what kind of file you have, but we want to get into an MP3 format. And we're going to use iTunes and um, to do the conversion. Whether it be from AAC to MP3 or WAV to MP3, we can use iTunes to do that. And we have a little piece of a... Uh, a little, a little bit of art my son made we were messing around with Pixelmator that I'll use as the album art. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is right click and open the file with iTunes. And iTunes is getting more and more bloated. So uh, it's a matter of finding where the heck your actual music library is. Oh, my music, there we go. Right here. I totally forgot. I got to convert it first. I'm going to right click. It says create AAC version, but I don't want AAC. So what I got to do is go into the preferences. What section? Import settings. Yeah, there we go. I don't want your AAC. I want your MP3 and I don't need that much. I'll go to 128. And that's pretty much what I'll do here. That gets you into the format that people do for podcasts. So... Then he's going to hit OK. So once we did the preferences, we'll go in here and do the create MP3 version. It's such a small podcast, it was real quick. So then from here, you're going to right click on it, go to get info. Now we're going to go to the old file menu to see that it's in the right format. It is in the MPEG layer 3, which is MP3. So let's go ahead and do that. Here's where you can actually start customizing what your tags look like. I'm just going to fill in some generic stuff here. Grouping pod kit. Oh, wait. Tech. Then we'll do genre. We're going to go ahead and do the old podcast genre. Year 16. Sometimes for the track, I'll do the actual episode number. So episodes here's are one. And then you can add more and more stuff if you like. But uh, next, we're going to say OK. And now you'll notice that you're starting to see the information actually filling out. So let's go back in here and get, go to get info. Make sure you're in that right file again, the MPEG one. We're going to go to artwork. We're going to add artwork. And where's desktop here? Let's do that one. Open. And we're good there. Lyrics. Lyrics here is where you can put your show notes and things like that. What I always start with is the actual URL. And I haven't tested recently, but what I usually do is put the, you know, the address. Let's just put YouTube for now dot com. Show Show notes go here. You know, you can put whatever you want here, basically. Options, I usually don't worry about that there. Sorting, sometimes I'll put information in here. Sometimes I won't. And then file, I don't do it. You don't do anything here. And then you just click OK. So at this point, we actually have it still in our library. What I like to do is just drag it out onto my desktop here. And you'll notice that we actually have the MP3 file with the album are already in it and if you play it'll actually play so that's basically how you do it from here this is how you you use this file and then if you want you can dump these these other files here but that's uh depending on your workflow what i do is i usually keep my album art in a dropbox folder so i can access it on any computer and i it's just a folder in dropbox called podcast album art that's basically it that's how you do it what I recommend you do is look at a popular podcast and see how they're doing their show notes. And let's go ahead and do that right now. So I'm going to go to uh, Leo Laporte's podcast, twit.tv. And let's find... Uh, let's just find one of their shows. And I want to actually download the audio. Download options. 
Let's go audio and it's saving here. What I'll do is I'll, I'll actually show it in the finder. I'm going to drag it on the desktop here. Then I'm going to right click open with iTunes. We go find the iTunes, find out where it's at and we'll hit pause. Right here is the actual podcast. So we're going to go ahead and right click get info. And what I would do is, you know, I would download this one. I download like maybe no agenda, Adam Curry and John C. Dvorak's podcast, maybe uh, Joe Rogan's or or uh, Adam Carolla's, you know, some of the more popular ones and then decide how much information you want to put in here. So you'll notice their details are filled out here. Comments, they put the link. Artwork, they have their artwork. Lyrics, they have nothing. But some some actual um, podcatchers or podcast apps grab the actual information from the website. So sometimes, you know, you leave it blank, but it actually pops populates it from the app itself. And I use um, Pocket Cast, and it actually does that. It grabs the blog entry. Basically, it grabs the information from the post on an RSS feed, which is usually on a blog somewhere. Options, I don't do anything here. Sorting, you can do a little bit more stuff there. And that's basically it. You know, decide how much information you want to fill out. But you want to do the basics so when people see in their playlist, you know, they can sort for the actual artist name, the album art, and the genre, and stuff like that. And the, um, anywhere this file is, you know, those that information follows it. So it's Pretty cool, pretty cool little thing they got going there with the old ID ID three tags. Okie dokie, thanks for watching. I'm not apologizing for this being late. It's just late. That's the way it's gonna be. As usual, we'll end this with a little bit of peace and a whole bunch of aloha.